Whatever you have, if you do not develop it, it remains stagnant. Every now and then, people share different perspectives to that. But the big part, I think, is the personal development. And that is where I think leadership comes in. You develop yourself by being a leader. What's up everyone? Henry Okazu here is the author of Design Your Destiny, Actualizing Your Bad Right to Success. And we've had him before on this session, on this podcast. He spoke extensively on purpose, self-discovery, and unleashing your full potential. And that was a very powerful video. If you haven't seen it, make sure you go see this full video and your life will be completely transformed. And then we have him the second time. He spoke about different personalities and relationships. And he went into details talking about different, you know, personality temperament that we all have, that our partners potentially have, that we can look into and understanding our different partners in different relationships. And this time around, we have him here and he is here to enlighten us on the different leadership dynamics and leadership development and management and also share his personal story with us. But we can't wait to hear you out. So, Henry Okazu, how are you doing this morning? I'm very good. Thank you, Mr. Dagbo, for having me on your show. I'm truly humbled and privileged to be here today. Thank you. First of all, happy 4th of July to you and your family. Oh, thank you. That was a wonderful one. And I hope you had fun with your friends and family. Yeah, I had fun. I had fun. It was awesome. Um, did you guys enjoy the fireworks and things? Wow, last night, um, me and my family were just here enjoying all the fireworks from New York, from New Jersey, and every part of the country. It was really a good experience. Fantastic. So, when it comes to leadership, one of the things that I've seen over time is, you know, we've seen different types of leaders from different perspectives, from social perspective, from religious perspective, from, you know, numerous perspectives. And one of the fundamental questions that comes to mind is are leaders born or made? I'd like you to take a, a jab at that. What's your perspective on that? Well, that's a very, very interesting question. I come across this question every now and then. People share different perspective to that. Personally, uh, for me, okay, I have a two way approach to this question. Generally, I would say leaders are made i don't believe leaders are born it, it could be acquired but in the recent i strongly believe leaders are made and i say this because you might have a trait of leadership in you if you do not develop yourself sometimes you do not come into manifestation okay very few people who are exceptional are the ones who could give that attribute that less are made from birth. But even at that, we do know that whatever you have, if you do not develop it, it remains stagnant. So I strongly believe that leaders are made. For you to study leadership, it means you have an interest in that area of life and you will learn the dynamics on how to approach it. For example, we have different kinds of styles and leadership. We have people focused leadership. We have authoritative leadership. We have innovative or transformative leadership. We have we also have to have charismatic leadership. We also have the one of coaching. So these are all dynamics that you can literally look. But if you now think leaders are born, now how will you know how to approach this? Another way again I'm going to look at it from is the aspect of the five types of knowledge that we have. We have the reviewed knowledge, the one People who wrote the Bible received knowledge from God or the Creator revealed. We have empirical knowledge, the one you use in solving practical mathematics problem. We have the rational knowledge, the one like this with logical reasoning. Right? Now we have the authoritative knowledge, the one you believe people who, based on their experience or 
expertise, and they also have the intuitive knowledge which comes up with you internally. Now, if you look at it from that angle, leaders, are they born or are they made? The only angle you will give leaders who are born is intuition. But then you will also rule out the fact that authoritative plays a role, revealed plays a role, empirical plays a role, and above all, rational knowledge plays a role. But your ability to study helps you to govern us all these things together. So I strongly believe personally that leaders are made. Why give you just 1%? To leaders who are born. Interesting. That's an interesting take on that. Now, if we say leaders are made, what makes a leader? Like I regularly set up a game, we have two types of education. We have the formal education and the informal education. The formal education is what you learn in the four words of the classroom, where you have your teachers. It's a well-structured environment. And I also have the informal education where you learn from your parents, from your friends, the community, and the world at large. But the big part, I think, is the personal development. And that is where I think leadership comes in. You develop yourself by being a leader. You learn from people by applying informal knowledge. Apart from the fact that you will learn in the formal classroom structure, you will go out there to learn what are the skills that you need. You know, the best way I can literally explain this is, I always tell my friends that if you meet a man who is literate and who has a business and who has been taught of what it is to run a business and to run a family, and this man has refused to apply this knowledge, I don't think he or she will go far in that business. Compared to someone who is an illiterate, but has been able to learn from someone who has a business and a family, and then they told him or her the secrets of running a business or the family. And this illiterate has gone ahead to implement those things in that business and the family. You will discover that this person will do very well. And then you now ask yourself, why did this man who's an illiterate succeed? And this other man who's a literate person did not succeed. Why? Because it's all about implementation. So when it comes to leadership, it's all about you knowing what to do by developing yourself. So when we talk about leaders being made, how is it being made? You learn in a, in a very good environment, which is like the formal education. Then you have to take the extra step and applying the knowledge you learn informally. And also you develop yourself in leadership because the best way to lead is to actually be in the ocean, be in the, in the environment, as opposed to leading from the outside. But you can lead from the inside by being a participatory leader. So that is what I mean by leaders are made. And these are some of the ways you can use to make yourself a great leader. You, you just don't acquire it like that. It, you, just, you don't acquire it like that. Rather, you develop it and you learn the art of growing up.